<laughs> well, this is Catherine and Christopher Tipper of Hunter Benefits Consulting Group, and I think the first thing to say is happy birthday, well, Christopher. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. We won't and say how old, but yes. 21 again. Yes, that's right. Um, yeah, uh, this was a uh, gift from some staffers, so thank you very much. Uh, very much appreciated. And uh, Filippo, if you could put a link to the video explaining what the deal is with Rhino Rhino yeah. Rhinocorns. <laughs> <laughs> What trademark, with trademark, with rhinocorns, with, rhinocorns, rhinocorns, with rhinocorns. honor benefits. Have so. three rhinocorns before breakfast. That's right. So this is on the couch the Friday afternoon. Oh God, it's bourbon edition. And we haven't and, even started. And we haven't even started yet. So we're naturally carbonated. The purpose of On the Couch, the Friday afternoon bourbon edition, is not just to drink bourbon, is to help you guys figure out a little bit about what's going on with the IRS, Department of Labor, PBGC, and all that other good stuff, right? Yep. All right. So we think we've got a reasonable show for you today. We'll be back in a second. And I hope we're back. Are we back? We're I'm back. I'm back. All right. I'm back. So uh, before we go on into the meat of this story, we're going to talk with Christina, I think. I didn't even check before we got here. Do we she have a does walking She does. Yes. Uh -oh. I have three items. <laughs> okay. Why, why, why am I always, I, I'm always worried when she has a Washington update. I don't know why. Well, it's the, Friday afternoon, and you would like afternoon. to think that your yes. world is settled. Yes. <laughs> True. Well, the, the first update is really an update. It's an update? Okay. Yeah, because the Bill Beck Better Bill. Mm. And I don't know about you, but I always think of the Better Business Bureau <laughs> when they come. Oh, okay, yeah. Up. But uh, yeah, it's still stalled. They're not doing anything on it. Uh, Lisa Gomez, who is the nominee to head EBSA of the DOL, has been approved again by the Health, Education, Labor, and Pension Committee of the Senate so that she can go before the full Senate for okay. approval. She had to be approved again because they didn't send her to the full Senate before they left at the end of last so year. So when is their trial by combat? Uh, who is that knows? the next step? Okay. Yeah, they're right. not. Apparently, <laughs> someone that would, that would be Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> I Sorry. think people would say that. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, that, that, that would be good. All right. So I, I think some people in the Senate are not thrilled with her. Okay. As oh. that ESG stuff, you know. Oh, okay. Okay, and drum roll, please. The new civil penalties are out. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, uh, well, every year they update the civil penalties for late filings or failing to do something. For example, mm. if you fail to file your 5500 series from this point forward, it is $2,400 per day from the original due date of the filing, and it was Do we have bleep capability, Filippo? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, last year it was uh, 2,259. Oh, good, so, so inflation, all right. Yeah. So that makes the inflation DFB, that mistakes. makes the Voluntary Correction Program for 750 bucks and whatever we charge out A with deal. A screaming deal. Yes. Holy cow. Well, yeah, because so if you screw if you, up, it's not just a bouquet of flowers that gets you out of trouble now. Right. There's a lot yeah. more yeah, money than that. And you can't say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, mm -hmm. you need to right. pay wow. up. Yeah. Okay, so the sticks got bigger. All right. Thank you, Christina. I always says, say with some hesitancy. All right. Let's have some more bourbon. Let's have some more bourbon while you're drinking. All right. The impetus, impetus, the purpose for today's video or what got me thinking earlier in the week is... Uh, perhaps I read too much social media and I do like Reddit and there are a number of subreddits in there and very often somebody asks the question what kind of retirement plan should I have and I'm almost willing to bet your house that the most common answer is index mutual funds well that's not an answer <laughs> Okay, that's you know that, that's not what kind of plan you should have. And we had uh, a, a situation with uh, a client this week conflating mutual funds with record keeper and with retirement plan. So what we thought we'd try to do, we've come up with a different few different ways, and we think we finally got the right idea as to how to explain 
what really matters. Oh, we're explaining the meaning of life. No, are we? No, the meaning no. of plants. The meaning of plants. All right. We're so It's a great analogy. We think I it's think. a good analogy. Well, I, I agree with her analogy. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> is there a reason I've been married this long? Okay. So, <laughs> what we're equating is the shopper is the retirement plan. Okay. So, if you're the plan sponsor, you're pushing the you're cart. You're pushing the cart. All right. You're making the choices. Yep. This is yes. a grocery store, by the way. Yes. Yep. Uh, Whole Foods or Safeway, as examples, are the record keepers. The items on the shelf are the mutual funds. And if you have a personal shopper, that's your financial advisor uh, or uh, financial expert. Huh? Click list. Click list. If you click list. Oh, and then you've got, yeah, okay. And then you can take the analogy oh, with there, online there, shopping. So we're not, yes, something. thank you. So, so we're, yeah, it's only a 98 minute video, Filippo. We got to stay on focus here. So right. the big scoop is if you go grocery shopping, you know you're the shopper and you have the cart, which is the plan, and you get to make choices on what you put it in. Now, it, can you still buy orange juice in multiple places or do you just have to go to oh. the Tropicana store? No, you, that's, the, that's the whole point. You don't have to go to the Tropicana store. You can go to Whole Foods or you can go to say, we, it was really hard to come up with two grocery stores that we think are national. All right, so you can go to Whole Foods or Safeway and still buy Tropicana, and we're not even going to talk about low pulp or no pulp. All right, so the point is you can get the same item at two different stores. Now, the other thing is when you change from shopping all the time at Whole Foods to shopping all the time at Safeway or vice versa, you're still you. You haven't terminated yourself. You're okay? still, you still have a shopping yeah. cart you're putting groceries <laughs> Right, because we, we every so often get a phone call, oh, I have to terminate the plan. Why? Well, I'm moving from one record keeper to the other. No. Just taking the shopping <laughs> basket to another store. So when people ask what is the best plan, I guess, well, like Whole Foods and Safeway, I guess it's what your, your wants, needs, and budget are, all right? What are the best funds? I don't know, you and I, we can argue about cereal and Pop-Tarts and Coca-Cola versus Pepsi all day long, all right? It's pretty much the same thing. I'm really not trying to cause offense, it's just they're different tools for different people. All right. But the, but the other thing that I wanna say, if you have a personal shopper, which is your advisor, right? You are the one who tells them, hey, you're going to shop at Safeway or Albertsons or wherever. You're telling them where to shop, and that means you're making a decision. Mm -hmm. So even though they are now doing the shopping for you, for you, yep. you picked them and you picked where they shop. Right. So, but since you know that, if you don't like your personal shopper and you don't like where you're getting your groceries, go to a different grocery store, but you still have a plan. It's still a shopping And cart. you can still prop, maybe you still keep the same personal shopper, right? Yeah, so, you know, yeah. Uh, well, if this, this analogy works for us. We hope it works it's for, for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so if it doesn't, and if you want to know why the heck we're talking about chubby unicorns, I almost said rhinocorns again. While we're talking about chubby unicorns, please email us, sales at hunterbenefits.com. Go to hunterbenefits.com. Uh, like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Peanut gallery, did we miss anything? No. No, no that's it? All right. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a good weekend. Stay Here's warm. Here's looking at you. Here's, look, here's looking, looking at, at you. Bye-bye.